Kim Ledbetter knows politics can be dangerous. She wears a panic alarm and is often accompanied in public by police because six years ago her sister, Jo Cox, was murdered outside a constituency surgery. Now representing the same seat, she remembers clearly the emotion of the day Sir David Amos was murdered. Shock on two levels, I think. One, oh my gosh, how has this happened again? And then two, the shock of sort of being taken back to 2016. And what really resonated with me in that regard was knowing what his family were going through and the horrific journey that they would have just started on that day. She believes the abuse MPs receive is worse than many realise. Things are pretty bad. Um, and what scares me and worries me is the fact that we've normalised that. Um, and as MPs, we've normalised it. So I work with some really strong women. But even they are saying, you know, talk, well, talking about court cases, restraining orders, as if it's normal, as if that's OK, as if we would put up with that in any other job. In the last six months, Cabinet Minister Michael Gove has been swarmed by anti-vax protesters. <laughs> Labour leader Sakir Starmer had a similar experience. Both now have police protection. But security experts argue the danger is often being too open. A lot of the times the biggest challenge for these people is, is actually themselves with what they post on social media. They, they literally put their whole lives out there and, and it's all there for the world to see. Kim Ledbetter believes MPs need compulsory security training, but argues support from the police and parliament is getting better. Do you feel safe? I feel safe most of the time, but one of the reasons I feel safe is because I take everything that's offered to me in terms of security and support. If I didn't have that support, I would feel a lot less safe. I knew there were going to be risks associated with this job, um, probably more than anybody. But when a colleague is murdered, those risks become very, very clear. Joe Pike, Sky News, Heckmondwike, West Yorkshire. But again, I think...